All right, this is April, also known as Grandmama. I'm here today to give you some scriptures to confirm that there is absolutely uh, reincarnation, not with the bugs and, and the animals and all that, but genuine reincarnation. Okay, the first one I'm going to give you is the last book in the Old Testament, which is Malachi. And it's talking about, basically, John the Baptist was really, literally, Elijah reincarnated. Okay, uh, Malachi 4, verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Okay, like I said, this is the la literally the last book in the Old Testament, and it's literally the last few chapters, okay? So then we go to the New Testament, okay? So in the New Testament, uh, Matthew 11, verse 14, but I want you to read it in its entirety, okay? But uh, I'll just start at uh, 12, okay? I'll start at 11, but read the whole chapter. Verily, verily, I say unto you that there, that there are born of women that there have not risen a greater, greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 12, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violence taketh by force. 13. For all the prophets and the law prophesied up until John. 14. Drum roll, please. And if you will receive it, this is Elijah who was to come. Okay? That was Matthew eleven fourteen. So he knows there's a lot of people that's not going to be believing in reincarnation. That's why he said, if you can receive it, John was Elijah. Okay, so now we're going to go to J J John, read it in your own time, John 1, 19 to, through 28. John, they kept asking, are you Elijah? Are you, are, the, are you that prophet? And he kept saying, no, no, no. I'm one crying in the wilderness. So apparently when you get reincarnated, you don't know what body you were in, in most of the time in the past. Some people know that they were reincarnated. They can tell you the date that they died, how they died. Now, this is stuff that they've proven. They've interviewed people. And there's no way that they could have known all of this stuff, you know, just by in the in the natural. They had to have been reincarnated. Okay, now let's go to Matthew 17, 1 through 13. Okay, Matthew 17, 1 through 13. Okay, and I'm actually going to read this. Okay, it's about the transfiguration. If you ever remember the transfiguration that should get you where the scripture is about reincarnation okay the transfiguration and after six days jesus was taken up taken jesus taketh peter james and john and his brother and bringeth them to a mountain apart and was transfigured before them transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as light and behold there appeared unto him Moses and Elijah talking to him then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make three tabernacles one for thee one for Moses and one for Elijah while he yet spoke yet while he Yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowing them, and behold, the voice, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. 
And when his disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them, and he said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when, and when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, only Jesus. And they came down from the mountain. Jesus charged them, saying, Okay, I got some new eyes, and I'm having problems seeing. Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen from the dead. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elias, which is Elijah, must first come? And Jesus answered, Jesus answered them and said unto them, Elias truly must come and restore all things. Still talking about Elijah. But I say unto you, Elias is come already. I will repeat it. Elias will has come already. That's 17 and 12. And they knew him not, neither did he knew it, know it, but have done, excuse me, have done unto him whatsoever they liked. Likewise, shall the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he was talking about John the Baptist. I will never ever address this again because I've, it's here in black and white. I try to stick with, by the way, the stuff that uh, Jesus mentions because it's so many scriptures in the... Uh, New Testament that goes against what the Old Testament and Jesus taught. Just like so many pictures goes against the real authentic color of Yeshua HaMashiach. It's been whitewashed. So if they whitewash the picture, if you know that they took out scripture and they added scripture, Okay, it just makes sense. If you're going to take whole books out of the Bible, why wouldn't you also alter scriptures? So I try to stick with what Jesus said, okay, and I've done quite well. I get a lot of revelation by sticking with what Jesus taught, okay? So I won't address this again. Yes, and I feel strongly that I've been, been reincarnated, okay? You don't have to believe it. John actually didn't believe it. Okay, so it's good, but I'm, at least I'm giving you the opportunity to give you scriptures to know what Jesus said. Them other shysters was added just like they added uh, the rapture. And Jesus constantly said, run, run, run. Why was he saying run, run, run? Why did he say it? the person that gets zapped? It's going to be over there where the eagles are, waiting on their gargantua meal. So you do not want to get left behind. Jesus prayed two powerful prayers. And he was saying, Father, the only, don't take them. Leave them here. Kind of like Moses and his crew. Everybody else got wiped out. Noah and his crew, everybody got wiped out. Jonah, everybody got wiped out. Not Jonah, uh, Lot. Now, Jonah went also to preach, which, you know, this is a whole other story. I don't know why I mentioned Jonah. But Jonah was uh, responsible for saving a lot of people. He, he preached unto them, and they repented. Okay, of course, years later, they had a new king. So, but anyway, that's a whole different story. This is grandmama. Times are going to continue to get horrible. But for folks like me, the, the other sellouts, not the ones in Hollywood and all that, the other, other sellouts to Yahweh, uh, it's going to be lit. 
we're going to be having a good life while we're watching our oppressors go into slavery. It's not a time for rejoicing, but I will be watching because he has to honor his covenant. That's why I serve him because he loves me and he honors his covenant. All right. God bless you and shalom.